Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant, and I'm going to be continuing, or I guess, continuing my gameplay. It's going to be the first gameplay video, but continuing my gameplay in the Lamborghini Vadino Qualls 2. So I'm at 12 and 9 right now, and that's because it's basically just everyone is hitting everyone. So no one's really gotten a, like, good amount of points difference besides, I guess, the first, the first two people in the top ranks. But otherwise, everyone is very close, and this is the hand that I'm using. Um, that is not it. Uh, this is right here. I have that, that, then the 233 spec, and then a roof SCR. So this is what I'm using. My 332 roof CTR Yellowbird, a 111 Lancia LC2, a 122 Peugeot Oxia, 233 Abarth 030, and a 323 roof SCR. And now let's see what we'll be able to do. So this guy, first off, doesn't look that bad. Yeah, we can beat this guy. But the only issue is, with hands, I can't really beat hands that have, um, the, what is it called? I should probably run the Oxy actually there, put that on test bolt, that on fast circuit. Hands that have the prize car jag, the legendary prize car jag, the highest RQ car you can use. And that's because it's slightly better than the Lancia LC2, so it beats the Lancia LC2 everywhere. Which is kind of annoying, because that's meant to be my car that can win every single race, but then it doesn't. Mira SVJ as well, that's an interesting one to have. That car was given out a while ago. Okay, there we go, Pedro Axio winning as well, and then the last two will be losses, but by not too many points. Yeah, this one will be a loss as well. See, the 962C is also better than the LC2 on most stuff. Not all stuff, but it is better on most stuff. Especially if they got a fuse in it as well. And then the Roof SCR loses there, but only by 50. So we're 13 and nine now, climbing up into 14th. I feel like this is a carbon fiber worthy hand, but it really just all depends. Like we can beat this guy as well. Cause that's a win. Then we got, this is a win, this is a win, and then that's a loss. And so like I, I can beat a majority of the hands. It just depends on all the losses that I'm taking as well then. Because I'm taking a decent amount of losses from other people as well. But Lancy LC2 does win here then. And then this race is also a win against the Escort Rally spec. And then right here as well is a loss, but only by 50. Gets the 037 Rally, and then the Peugeot Oxia shouldn't lose by too much against the LC2. Yep, only 50. So like that's another one star victory as well, and now we're into eighth. But now let's see what the higher up hands are now. Let's see what we're facing. See, this car I just can't beat with my Lancia LC2. I can beat that. I can beat that, and I can beat that, so actually let's go for him. But I cannot beat that legendary Jag. So it's kind of annoying then when there's other people that have it, because as you'll see shortly, my Lancia cannot beat it. Because there, we got that winning by 62. And then right here, you'll see the Jag is better in MRA. Probably because of its little bit of higher top speed makes it a bit easier for it to reach its higher speeds. And I also just am pretty sure it has better MRA as well. And then, but that's a win. And then this race is a win. I mean, not a win. This is a loss, but the next race. I was thinking about the next race. The next race is a win, though, with my Peugeot Axion. Yep, because the great MRA of the Peugeot comes in clutch. So we're into seventh now. And now let's go into the next person. So that's a win, that could be a win, and that could be a win. I do also want to learn if, what that result is for that race. So we could do that, 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 and then we shouldn't lose too many bonus points with that, and I do kind of want to know if I can win Slalom Test Rolling Start against a 3-2-3 spec. So this will be a win by 91. This should also be a win, yep, by 50. Cool, that was a little bit close, but I believed in the Oxia. Then this shouldn't be too bad of a loss. Yep, only 78. See, that's why the SCR is good. I'm saving a lot of RQ and it shouldn't lose by too many points. Okay, Slalom Spec does win, all right. And then right here, this is a win. I wasn't sure if Slalom Spec would win with it being a rolling start, but it, my theory was correct, I guess. My guess was correct. So final ticket now, let's see what the top hand is because I haven't seen it yet. Um, no, this is the guy that's undefeated. We got Peugeot Quasar, that, that, and that. And then they're just going very low on the slalom. 
And then we got this guy as well, who also has a very good hand. They're using a 3-2-3 spec as well. They have the 2-3-3 spec. That's a win. But I'm not sure if I can beat the 9-6-2-C. How about this guy? Um, nope. This guy. Win. 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 Yeah, I can beat that guy. And this guy is definitely off the table, I would say. Um, maybe win. Tie. Win and perhaps win. Except I don't really know. So I'll race this guy instead. This guy will probably be the smarter option because we put that there, that loses. Then that wins, that wins, and that'll lose. And so we should be chilling then. But see, I can beat most of the higher end hands. It's just the higher end hands can also beat my hand. So then that's just a bit of an issue then. Even get some bonus points against the CTR Yellowbird. But that's just the issue then. It's everyone can beat everyone's hand pretty much because unless you have four prize car legendaries and then one lower RQ car, but I do not have that. And so do most of the other people in my bracket don't also have a hand similar to that. And that is only lost by 50, which is nice. So yeah, interesting event. I'm into third now, which is pretty funny, but that definitely won't stay for very long. Was that a wish list? I think that was, I just clicked on it very fast. That was a wish list. all right, nice. Got the 914, what did I have that wish listed for? Two-tone, all right, cool, I will max that out soon then. To get working on that two-tone, the rest of these, I'll probably just be saving for Fuse. And so yeah, that's gonna basically conclude it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Elephant, thanks for watching, goodbye.